Hey guys, Silence Yo here. Welcome back to another episode of Utama Cross Gacha. And this time around, well, we are in the mood for spooks because, well, Halloween is just round the corner and Freya gets a brand new sexy devil costume. <laughs> well, since uh, I would say the Do You Remember Love um, Captain's costume? Freya has really been upping the game in terms of sex appeal. So, uh, I, I don't know what you guys think about it. To me personally, I don't see Freya in that light because she's somewhat similar to Ranka. Uh, Ranka is a sweet girl, although she has her moments of, you know, showing off some sex appeal, but not to Freya's level. <laughs> and Freya is supposedly to be um, kind of a hand down from Ranka because she she admires Ranka and of course you can see in the TV series and in the movies Freya's style is somewhat similar to Ranka. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, guys let me know what you think about Freya's trends in Utame Cross recently down in the comments below and of course uh, let me know as well if you actually get her episode plate for her yourself. Alright, so let's take a look at the episode plate that belongs to Freya's um, brand new, surprisingly very sexy costume name as well, uh, known as Hot Release. <laughs> yes, literally that's the name of the costume. It's called Hot Release. Uh, it's actually written in Hiragana, so... Or is it Katakana? No, Katakana. <laughs> it's written in Katakana, which means it is a language used for foreign words. So, yes, Hot Release is the exact name for the costume. Uh, oh, God. Okay, so 3,857 total score. Uh, Well-balanced stats all around. And, you know, it looks pretty similar to Ranka's and Cheryl's past two episode plates in terms of its build format. So pay a close attention to the um, the three other divas equipable with this episode plate. As you can see, Ranka is there because, well, she is Ranka's kohai or junior, if you guys are not familiar with the Japanese terms. Um, Milane and Kaname? Um, okay, maybe maybe that's why Ran uh, Freya has been getting a bit more... Um, sexy maybe because of influence from kaname <laughs> so yeah um all right so center skill s rank so looking at it i have a feeling that freya's episode plate will be a center position episode plate considering it has a s rank center skill so units total and life is boosted by 20 percent up not the best percentage there is but it is an s rank so meh uh all right Let's move on. Active skill. Oh, so it is. It isn't a center position plate. Okay. Active skill S rank as well. Life recovery fifty percent. So definitely, uh, you still a useful episode plate for the current event because you need, um, to recover your HP due to its mission challenge, uh, where your life continuously depletes throughout the play of your lives during the event. So, life skill, S rank, score repeat. So, it is needed um, because the current event song, uh, Cosmic Movement, is a pretty long duration song. So, that's why Freya's episode plate comes with a score repeat ability. So, yeah. So, awesome. Alright, so let's see whether her episode plate comes with a special note. If not, um, Freya's episode plate is definitely going to be placed in the um, tier 2 range of episode plates even though it has pretty good stats so oh it comes with a high score note attached to it so yay Freya this episode plate of yours goes into tier 1 <laughs> so with that said should you get Freya's brand new episode plate now or in the future when it re uh, enters into the game as a reissued gacha. Yes, you must obtain it if you guys don't have good yellow element plates, star element plates, whichever one you call it by. This is definitely a life support 
um, episode play that you definitely must obtain within your collection in the future or even now. So guys, uh, I'm going to do a single template pool, the discounted version, and hope for the best because, well, Freya's costume, uh, even though it is hot right now for release, it's behind a paid wall. <laughs> so guys, I wish you guys all the best as well as for myself. I hope my luck reverses for this particular gacha pool because it has been pretty shitty as of lately. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, there wasn't any loading, was there? Oh no. At least give me one or two new plates. Um, you know, just to have the costume. Oh! Oh my, what a surprise on the first bling. So hopefully that is the new plate, but you know, um, I doubt it is. Most of the time, I'll end up having old episode plates, but that's fine as well. You know, having secret bots unlocked uh, and having luck boosted on the 6-star episode plate is pretty fantastic as well. So yeah, like I said, I really wish to at least obtain one or two new episode plates uh, with Freya's costume points so I can at least try to unlock it um, with episode orbs later on. Oh, I think this is not one of them. Actually, all three episode plates that belong... Oh, there we go. So, the rainbow box actually belongs to an old episode plate, but it's pretty okay. Um, so, yeah. Because all the three episode plates that are new with her costume points... <laughs> feature the three characters in Macross Delta that form the triangle uh, uh, I mean the triangle love story so it's Mirage, Hayate and Freya herself so not seeing any of them that's kind of a bummer um, do I really <laughs> want to do another template pool? Uh, this is so tough I mean it, I could if I want to, but you know, the next event, which are the costumes uh, for Kaname and Mikumo in their Halloween police get up, that's, uh, that's gonna need at least another 600 gems, which is exactly what I have now. Uh, I mean, stones, not gems. <laughs> um, I don't know, can I afford to? It is very tempting, but. Uh, maybe I'll do single pools. I can, I can at least afford single pools. So hopefully, hopefully things go well. I don't know. I should go for a template pool for you know better chances. But uh, this is really a dilemma. Okay, I tell you what. I should be able to gain more singing stones considering that um the. Bonus login is still going on right now, and there's quite a bunch of singing stones to obtain. So I think I'll do another template pool. At least by the time the next event comes around, I should have enough for a single template pool discounted. Uh, then we'll see how when it comes to Kaname's turn to do another gacha video. Oh god, oh god, please grant me at least the episode plate. Uh, I'm risking it all here. Okay, then we do see some loading, so that's a bit of a good sign. Here we go. Uh oh. I'm gonna regret it, ain't I? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. This is horrendous. Oh no. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, that's a good sign. <laughs> okay, at least it's not a total flop. Alright, here we go. The only red box. It won't evolve, but that's okay. We got an episode plate that I was hoping to see. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We got the notification to say that we can unlock um, Freya's costume via episode ops. Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay, so not all too bad. At least we get to see an evolved plate. Hey, okay. 
So that's about it. So hopefully you guys have way better luck than I do as always. <laughs> you know, from from my video evidence, you can tell my luck is horrible. But uh, that's not what we are here for. Although it would be a nice bonus to see some nice pools once in a while. <laughs> But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode. Hopefully you guys found all the information I shared useful as always. And of course, let me know in the comments down below how you guys did for your own gacha pool. And of course, leave the like to this video because it helps the channel greatly. And of course, it lets me know that you guys appreciate the content as well. Share the video to all your time across fans. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next